Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ali and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys. So for today's video, I have my weight loss and workout Q&A. So before this start, I am not a professional. I do my own research. I am not licensed. I am not certified in any of this. This is what has worked for me and what has helped me. So take everything I say with like literally one grain of salt and apply it or don't apply it. I don't know, but this is everything that has worked for me. So I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions. And also I kept saying it's been five months since I lost 21 pounds. And I was thinking, and I was like, no, it's been four months, three at the max, because I didn't start working out to the middle of August to start losing weight. So yeah, because I had my surgery at the end of June, I had to heal for six to eight weeks. I think I did the eight weeks. So that was two months, so June, I got my heart surgery at the end of June, so I did July, August, started working out in September, so it's actually only been three months. Like, that's crazy. I don't know why. I guess because I kept thinking when I got my surgery, and I got my surgery back in June, and that was the last time I checked my weight um, until up until I started working out, and then after, so yeah, it's been only three months since I've been consistently doing this since I got serious about, so first let me say that, because I, I know on my snapchat and stuff i say like oh since my surgery i've lost x amount of pounds first let me clarify i did not have any kind of bariatric surgery so no gastric sleeve no anything like that i had a hernia that i had to have repaired that was restraining me from working out and doing things that i wanted to do and go as hard as i wanted to go but i had a hernia repair it wasn't like bariatric surgery or anything like that so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and go to Instagram and look at your guys' questions. First of all, let me go to Raquel's first and answer Raquel's because she sent her questions in a message. So, okay, Raquel's question. So her first question was, what was your start weight? <laughs> so back in September, my start weight was 250 pounds. I weighed 250 pounds. When I weighed myself this morning, I actually realized I am down to 229 pounds. So I'm now down 21 pounds. Um, do you have a goal weight? My goal weight is actually 200 pounds and then lower from there. But for right now, I didn't want to set my goal for something that seemed impossible or super far away because I feel like that can kind of make you discouraged. So week by week, I have a goal of losing at least one to two pounds, which I have been accomplishing. Um, month by month, I want to lose anywhere from five to 10 pounds. But my overall goal by that I'm reaching for and that I'm aiming for is actually 200 pounds and after 200 pounds let's see if I can get down to 190 and then after that let's see if I can get down to 180. The smallest I've actually ever been is 185 but it was not a healthy 185. I wasn't working out. I was just in a toxic relationship doing bad and so I didn't look healthy but now I'm, I want to see if I can get down to that my goal right now is 200 pounds, but after I hit 200 pounds, I want to see if I can get down, back down to my smallest weight ever in a healthy way. But yeah, my goal right now is 200 pounds because I didn't want it to seem impossible to reach or get discouraged during it. Okay, so how often do you weigh yourself? I weigh myself every morning unless it's close to the t unless it's close to my period because around the time of your period you have bloating, you have water weight and it makes you get discouraged and I had to learn that recently like within the last couple of months because it can seem like you gain like anywhere from like for like two to five pounds during that your time of the month and it can get discouraging so if i know it's about to be that time of the month i will not weigh myself the week before or the week of and then i just won't and then also i have a scale that breaks everything down for you so you can actually see where that weight is coming from so okay i gained weight but is it did i gain fat or did i gain water weight or did i gain muscle so that's what i like about my scale Oh yeah, I weigh myself just about every morning after my morning poop. Like if we're going to be 
blatantly honest like i want my real raw weight and so i weigh myself after i pee and poop in the morning and after and butt naked so i'm butt naked after i pee and poop i weigh myself because we don't need any extra weight like i want my real raw weight and that's 229 right now which is so exciting like only 29 pounds till 200 <laughs> okay she also said will you ever do a what i eat in a day and I'm laughing because a couple months back, I tried to film a what I eat in a day. And y'all, I forgot. <laughs> I started eating it. Like, I filmed like my breakfast and my morning snack. And then after that, I just started eating and kept forgetting to film it. But yes, I do plan on filming a what I eat in a day. Somebody just got to remind me <laughs> to let y'all know what I'm eating because, and, and I don't want it to, and I want it to be real and raw, like on a real day. Like, what am I eating? Because y'all, I don't, the, the question's coming up, but for real, like I want it to be real and raw. I don't want it to seem like staged and oh, she eats so healthy because I don't. She said, your favorite healthy snacks. I actually love granola and yogurt. I feel like that's a snack. Apples and Jif peanut butter. The whip, the Jif whipped, not regular peanut butter, the Jif whipped peanut butter, but it has to be honey crisp apples. So honey crisp apples and Jif whipped granola and yogurt and mm, healthy snacks. Yo, I really don't eat that many healthy snacks, but if I had to pick two healthy snacks, that's what I would snack on, like granola and yogurt and honey crisp apples with Jif whipped peanut butter. Very specific, but that's what i like Ooh, and then if you cut up them honey crisp apples use almond butter and then sprinkle some like vanilla granola on there or something like some almond granola oh, that's so good they're called apple donuts so freaking good honey crisp apples almond butter and granola on top so good i'll have to make them maybe i'll make them on my what i eat in a day okay so next question she said what motivates you honestly Okay, the first number one thing that motivates me is understanding that I have children and they need me. And then second after that is knowing that God's word tells me that I need to take care of my body. Well, I said those backwards. First is that God's word tells me that I need to take care of my body. Second is knowing that I have little people here in this world that depend on me for a long time that are going to need me here. And so I need to be in tip top shape if, if not aiming to be in tip top shape. And then surprisingly, the scale motivates me. So... For instance, I wasn't going to work out this morning, but when your girl saw she lost two more pounds this week, like, okay. Like, I was like, okay, I'll work out again because I'm seeing results. So seeing results motivates me. And also, if the scale goes up, I think to myself, like, this isn't what I want. And so I work out even harder. And then that's what motivates me to eat healthier is if I see the scale go up. So yeah, oddly enough, the scale really does motivate me. It doesn't discourage me. Um, and also Brian, because Brian has always told me since we got married, like, look, I've never been the type of guy that goes based off a of body type or appearance. Like I like a person's personality. So you're, so if you feel like I don't like you, it's going to be because of your personality. But just know if you're feeling some type of way about your body, you're the only person that can change it. Nobody can change it for you. Now you could go pay and get it changed, but like how much will you, how much are you going to respect your body if you pay to have changes made to it? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like just in general, people take care of stuff that's hard earned. So think about that hard earned weight loss and that hard earned body. Like you're going to learn to take care of it. And like things like that are just what motivates me. She said, how often do you eat out? <sighs> Some weeks are better than others. Um, like the two weeks before we left to Georgia, we were eating out literally just about every single day for dinner or lunch. Um, but we were eating out every single day this past week. I ate out about three times. Um, like I said, it really just depends on the week, but three time, three to five times max in a week we'll eat out, but I really try to do mostly home cooked meals. And then she asked, what gives you energy? And she said, is that coffee? I'm actually not a coffee drinker unless I've running off of like three hours of sleep or unless like I'm just super tired but I know I have work to get done and I'm not able to come back home and go to sleep now Raquel actually did put me on to that matcha green tea latte now that actually doesn't give me energy it helps me focus but I don't get energy from it but really honestly sleep sleep and rest 
gives me my energy because like I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I drink coffee maybe twice a month, maybe. Now we can go into your questions on your, your guys' questions. So one of you guys asked, what supplements have you found to be the most helpful? Do you guys diet and work out? Okay, so supplements. I have all my supplements here that I have tried. Okay, so supplements. This has been the first vitamin that I have tried that I actually see a difference in my body. And I actually received this in an influencer box to sample. And this is the Sun Down Organics Woman, Well Woman's Multivitamin. And the thing about this that got me was the fact, let me see where it says it. It says iodine is an essential component of the thyroid hormone and plays a role in growth development and metabolic process. So metabolic, your metabolism. And I actually, when I started taking this, before I started taking anything else, I had already noticed that the process, the amount of time that it takes my body to process food was starting to speed up and I was able to go more regularly. Another thing that I like about this is it's non-GMO, no gluten, no wheat, no milk, no lactose, no artificial color, no artificial flavor, no artificial sweetener, no, no peanuts, no tree nuts, no fish, sodium free. Like what else do you want in a vitamin? Like I really, really like this vitamin. It says enriched with over 15 different organic fruits and vegetables. I like this multivitamin. Like I said, this is probably the first one that I found that I look forward to taking. It does not hurt my stomach when I take it. I actually need to order more, so I'm glad I opened this. Okay, in a minute. But yeah, I'm so happy that that I actually received this. So I really do like, so everybody needs to be taking a multivitamin. So that's why I did want to go ahead and talk about this. This isn't a part of my like weight loss or workout anything, but it is a part of my health. And I'm someone who tends to be more anemic. So I do need something like this to help your girl out. Okay, so this is only if you work out. So this supplement I have found to really, really help me, to really help me get my car, not my heart rate up and to get me to start sweating because without this, you guys, I do not sweat. I, I need help to sweat. So this is the GNC Burn 60. It's, I wouldn't call it a pre-workout. It's literally just a thermogenic to help your heart rate get up to where you can burn more calories. Like it doesn't give you the itchy feeling from pre-workout or anything like that. But I have found that this helps me really get in the mood to work out because like you will if you take this and you don't plan on working out you will be sitting there sweating like you will all of a sudden be like why like i took this one time intending to work out and i didn't get to work out and i was sitting there and i'm like why is it so dang hot in here like what in the world is going on and it was because i took this so if you have trouble sweating or you want to burn more calories i highly recommend the gnc burn 60 super good so these two are something else that I would actually recommend, both GNC brands. So the CLA and carnitine, this one's just going to help your body burn fat for fuel instead of your muscle or anything like that. This one's going to actually help you burn fat as well as your greens. Everybody should be taking their greens, whether it be in a smoothie or something like that. I just like this because it's a powder. I shake it in some water. Boom, I took my greens for the day and it's not that bad tasting if you get the mixed berry. So yeah, that one's not too bad either. That's what I recommend those for, um, but I don't take them all the time. If I'm out of these, I'll take this because it's kind of the same thing. And so next thing that I have seen really, really, really plays a big role and I would recommend these there's four things that I would recommend out of all of these supplements. Two of them, one of them is the Ghost Aminos, and they don't have to be the Ghost brands, just the Aminos in general. So you have your EAAs and your BCAAs and hydration. So what this does is it helps your body recover after a workout faster, as well as it's going to hydrate you, and it's just going to help your body help build the muscle, preserve the muscle, and re recover the muscle faster. So you really should be taking your aminos, BCAs, EAs, all of that stuff. Do your own research on it. Don't just take my word for it, but do your own research. These are really, really good. And this one tastes really good. That's the only reason why I bought uh, why I brought this one in here, because I do have some other BCAAs that I take or aminos that I take. But this one, the Ghost and Blue Raspberry, is bomb. So what I feel like has made the biggest difference and why I've been dropping so much weight the past two weeks is actually these Goalie Apple Cider, cider Vinegar. 
gummies now the gummies are kind of expensive but y'all taking i mean if you want go ahead and take your shot of apple cider vinegar every morning if you can afford that but i think it's just the apple cider vinegar in general is what has been helping me drop weight so fast here recently so i do recommend apple cider vin apple cider vinegar whether it's the gummies or whether you're just going to take a shot every morning i highly recommend that also it's not a supplement but it is essential to weight loss water 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 increase your water intake decrease all your other fluid intakes and watch your weight change just based off of that but if i had to recommend anything it's these four right here aminos something to help you burn more fat or calories whenever you work out your multivitamin and apple cider vinegar definitely the actually drinking my aminos right now so good A little bit sour but it's good she said do you guys diet and work out no we don't diet we still eat what we want we just eat it in moderation and our tip with that is burn more than you're putting in but don't starve yourself so i don't diet for one because if you diet you're then starving your body from, from of calories so your body starts either feeding on your muscle or preserving that fat to feed on later. So I don't appreciate a calorie deficit diet because I feel like whenever I started making sure I was eating more, my body started doing what I wanted it to do. So I recommend eating more. Figure out what that is. So you could use the MyFitnessPal app, put in your weight, put in your goals, put in how often you work out, and it's going to give you a calorie amount of what you should be eating and just go based off of that. That's what I started doing. Okay, so she said, what are your favorite healthy meals? What is your favorite and least favorite workout? So my favorite healthy meal is, what is my favorite healthy meal? <sighs> Ooh, oven and baked chicken with some sort of seasoned rice and vegetables. I love a good oven baked chicken with maybe like a tablespoon of like A1 sauce. I just made that actually and I love a good baked chicken meal. Oh, or lettuce wraps, some Asian style lettuce wraps. So good. She said, what is your favorite workout? Anything tricep. I love tricep workouts, mostly because that's like my one of my main target areas, but I love me a good tricep workout. So tricep kick packs, tricep overhead extension, tricep cable pull downs, like Love me a good tricep workout. What is your least favorite workout? I want to say burpees, but I don't want to seem so basic. But I would much rather do burpees over like cardio, cardio, like running or elliptical. I just don't like cardio, but cardio is what helps you burn fat. So cardio will help you lose weight, but weight training will help you gain muscle and burn fat. So a combination of the two is like the perfect workout, but if you're really wanting to burn fat and gain muscle, do more weight training over cardio. How do you stay motivated? Um, I said this already, but I stay motivated by the scale. Like watching the scale go up and down truly does motivate me because whenever it goes down, I get pumped that I'm seeing results. And whenever I go up, it makes me go harder because I wanna see results. So really the scale, and just knowing what I want. And also I follow a lot of fitness pages on IG, on Instagram. I follow a lot of fitness pages. I follow the weight loss transformation page because if there's a week where I'm, or a day where I'm just feeling lazy, I can get on Instagram and scroll and look on stories and I see people working out and like that motivates me. Like, you know what, Allie, like you can get up and do it. And doesn't it just look, and afterwards you feel so good about it. What is your favorite workout channel? <laughs> Sydney Cummings, like, all the way Sydney Cummings, but if you are more of a beginner, check out Emmy Wong. Who has the best workout clothes in your opinion? Mm. I like Old Navy. I've only used Old Navy, Under Armour, and Pink. Pink to me runs a little bit small and it's very, very see-through. Um, Under Armour does that weird thing where like it slides down and then like it starts to slide down your thighs and it just looks ugly. Like I don't like that. So my favorite that i've tried is old navy surprisingly what is your favorite gym workout or machine gym workout or machine uh bench press 
I have to say bench press. I've really become, because I can see the weight that I, like my increase and my progress with bench pressing, that is currently my favorite um, gym workout and machine. Okay, next question. Do you and your husband work out together or just go together? We actually work out together. So now that I'm take now that I'm more bold and taking my tripod to the gym, you'll actually see that we do the same workouts and we try to stay on the same pace and around each other. So that way, if girls be trying to talk to him, they can see, yo, I'm right there. And if any guys want to get booked, Brian can be like, yo, I'm right here. So we actually do stay around each other in the gym and do the same workouts. We actually actually work out together. And we just enjoy it. That's kind of like the only time that we get alone together is actually going to the gym because we have childcare. <laughs> okay. Somebody said, what, what, what motivates you to work out so much with this emoji? Um... Like I said, knowing what God says about taking care of my body and knowing that I have little kids that look up to me to take care of my body. He said, what is my goal? So my goal is to be more toned and also lose weight. I just feel like I'd feel much better about myself if I lost weight, but I really want to be toned up with less body fat. So that's why I do a lot, a lot of weight training and not very much cardio. Like I incorporate card cardio to lose weight. But I do a lot of weight training to help burn fat and build muscle. Ooh, favorite type of cardio? I like the bike or the elliptical. Bike or elliptical or incline walk, but probably the bike or the elliptical. She said, what do you think has been the hardest part of your weight loss journey? Um... Staying consistent and not giving in to tiredness because even when I'm tired, I work out and I, it's real easy to be like, you know what, like I'm tired, my body needs to rest. But being consistent with it is the hardest part of working out and just reminding yourself to keep working out. Gym playlist. So I will actually just play a snippet or I'll list. I love listening to KB when I work out if you want more Christian based music. I love listening to KB. Um, I also listen to, is it the baby? Yeah, I love listening to the baby. Like I love his song Rockstar and there's a lot of music y'all. Like I listen to everything, but it's super random. Like I just listen to anything that gets me like pumped. So I have like a whole lot of Christian rap on my playlist. I have a whole lot of secular rap on my playlist. But yeah, anything that can get me pumped up, I love. All right, you guys. So that was actually all of your all of your questions for weight loss and whatnot. So that is it for my weight loss Q and A. So I did want to go ahead and give you some tips and pointers. So first of all, is make your reason for wanting to work out bigger than just your appearance because your appearance is here today and gone tomorrow so your reason has to be bigger than your appearance in order to motivate you to stay consistent my number two thing is decide what you're actually wanting to do with your workout are you just wanting to lose weight or are you wanting to get toned build muscle and lose weight so if you're just wanting to lose weight stick to cardio but if you're wanting to like build muscle actually get fit and be toned add a lot of strength training in there with very little cardio and then my last tip is create a schedule for you to stick to for at least two months. So that way after that point in time, it just becomes habit and your body actually feels when you don't work out. And it kind of makes you feel like, oh, I need to work out. So yeah, that is, those are like my three top tips is like, have the reason being bigger than yourself. Decide what you're trying to do and make it a habit so when you don't work out, you feel it and it makes you want to work out. So yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.